Lizzo seems to have the song of the summer quite easily. It's about time. But when I was listening to It's About Time, I couldn't help but think of Megan Thee Stallion's Savage remix with Beyonce. Maybe. Well, no smoke with me. Okay. And it's not simply the fact that both of these songs are rapped and sung. There's something deeper, so come on the journey with me. Hello everybody, my name is O'Neal Gerald Donald, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Lizzo on this channel. I wanted to talk about her new song, It's About Time. It's about time. About darn time. About time. Whatever you want to call it. The reason why I wanted to talk about it is because it reminded me of Beyonce's take on Megan Thee Stallion's Savage. I'm a savage. Now how did Lizzo remind me of Beyonce? I'll show you. It's a pretty simple yet complex concept. Long story short, both Savage and About Time are in the same key. That is E flat minor. Ba, 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 ba. Now, it's not uncommon to find two songs that are in the same key, but with Savage and About Time, they actually not only have the same key, but they also use the same mode. And for the sake of this conversation, I'm gonna call the mode like a cousin key. What a mode is, is it's basically a key that starts on the same root note, E flat, but instead of it sounding like the regular minor or major key that's on the root note, you're actually getting another key that's insinuated because of the common note that's right here. And in this case, we're getting the key of D flat major, right? That's actually being insinuated over the E flat minor. And so its scale sounds a little different. Ba, 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 ba. And because of the melodies for each of these songs, or, or even the background vocals in Savage, uh, we're actually getting an essential root chord that's a little bit different than just E flat minor. We're kind of getting an E flat minor 11, right? And that upper extension in the E flat minor chord is actually the cousin key that we're talking about, D flat major. So here's the original key. Ba, 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 ba. Here's the cousin key. Ba, 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 ba. And here are the two keys meshed together in that mode. The Dorian mode, if you're wondering, right? We get a little nice juicy chord there. And so Beyonce's background vocals and melodies on the Savage remix use a lot of the same inferences to that cousin key the same way that It's About Time does. And what I mean by inferences to the other key is that even though, right, we got the production that's giving us more E flat minor. So in the Savage remix, we got bum, 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 bum. And It's About Time has a little bit more of the cousin key in its production, but we still get the root continuing to be pushed throughout the production with that bass. So we have that bed that's being set in both uh, the Savage remix and It's About Time. But when it comes to melodic choices that are in the actual melodies that are being sung, that's where we're getting a little bit more of the cousin key. Now in It's About Time, we actually get a lot of Lizzo singing this F, okay? I'm gonna circle it here. It's bad, check o'clock, it's thick 30. It's bad, it's o'clock, yeah, it's thick. It's bad chick o'clock, it's thick 30. Now in my own head, when I think of a melody that would be an E flat minor, staying on this note, right, the two of the key, is not really somewhere where I'm thinking. I'm usually thinking that I'll be on like the one, the three, or the five. It's bad chick o'clock, it's thick 30. Or it's bad chick o'clock, it's thick 30. Or it's bad chick o'clock, it's thick 30. What Lizzo's done in her writing, and I don't know if she's done this intentionally, um, along with the other writers, is that they actually are, are sitting on a note that rubs in between the chord tones, right? So for me, when I'm thinking, especially, you know, this theory of there being a mode in the mix, this note actually works a lot better in the cousin key. It's bad chick o'clock, it's thick 30, right? So the melody kind of lives better in the cousin key, but what we've done is we put the original key on the foundation and put the inference of the, the cousin key on top. So we got, it's bad o'clock, it's thick 30. And Beyonce used this the same note in the Savage remix, right from the jump. Queen B, want no smoke with me. Queen B, want no smoke with me. Right there. So again, 
we're getting a little bit of a rub there. And it's really cool to see how both of these songs do that similar rub in between those two keys. Now, talking again about inferring the cousin key over that original key, Beyonce does a lot of this with the background vocals that are in Savage. So much so that when I first heard the Savage remix, I was trying to understand what key is Beyonce thinking in? And what she was doing was thinking in the cousin key, that D flat major. What makes me think this? It's the times that we're hearing Beyonce give those D flat major chords in the background vocals, like the yes in the opening verse. Turn it up, up degree. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? She gives a straight up D flat major chord on something that is more in E flat minor. She's thinking in that cousin key. And honestly, I have so much fun when I talk about what singers are doing in their own heads and just like getting into what they could be thinking, what they could be doing at the time that they're writing and creating their message for their audience. And I'd love to help other singers to actually do that for themselves, for you, especially in wanting to be an unforgettable vocalist. You want to be able to translate everything that you're hearing in your head to your own singing into your own music creation. So what I've done to help you in doing that is I created a free resource for you to actually be able to start the journey in discovering your voice's full potential. So I want you to go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass, watch my free training so that you're able to actually get a few of the tools that you need to get further in your singing journey. Because a lot of the time we hear ideas, you know, have ideas of how we want our voices to work and we don't necessarily have the knowledge to be able to actually get that message and get that sound out. So I want you to go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass and get some of that info so that you can share your message musically with the whole world. Now let's get back into what Lizzo and Beyonce are doing. Now remember how we were talking about the intro of the Savage Remix and Beyonce going Queen Bee. Queen Bee. Lizzo actually uses a similar movement. In fact, they're the exact same notes. In the chorus of It's About Time. I turn up the music. Turn down the lights. Turn up the music. Turn down the lights. And what I like about this melody is because it's using a note that is out of the the picture of the original pr production like it's mind you the guitar is still hitting the that note in the chord it's giving so it's not totally out of the picture but an, it's a note that's not usually thought of when you think of e flat what lizzo and beyonce are able to do in using a melody like that is they're able to give flavor and then bring it back home flavor and bring it back home turn on the music turn up the music queen bee queen bee now, while we're talking about melodies that give us, you know, that cousin key over the production that stays in the original key, Beyonce did a wild run on the Savage Remix. Ooh, ha, ooh, 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 ooh. First of all, Beyonce, you're absolutely nuts. Second of all, this run actually infers the cousin key. Let me show you. Ooh, ha, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ha, Come on, Beyonce. Ooh, 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 ooh. So our first clue that she's actually uh, in the cousin key is actually this pentatonic scale. Ooh. Right? Now it's important to note that when I'm using the blue, I'm inferring that cousin key. But remember, we're getting we're still getting that boom 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 boom. Right? Um the production is keeping us within the original key. So it's important to know that the notes that Beyonce is choosing is being sounded against the original production. But this first section of notes, ooh, 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 ooh. right there, that is already a, a pentatonic scale that is related to D flat major. Now it is re related to E flat minor as well, but it does start on one of the key chord tones that is in D flat major, that A flat. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. And also she does start on that chord tone on the downbeat. So it kind of gives us the inference of ooh, kind of like the queen bee. When she was singing that, she was on the downbeat. So it was kind of giving us the inference of a different chord within the original key. So she's doing the same thing with a different chord tone. Ooh, uh, ooh. Right? So that's our first clue. Does it mean necessarily that, yes, she was thinking in D flat major? No. But with what it's doing for our ears, it gives an effect that we can't deny. Now, if that opening run wasn't a clue, definitely what she does when she descends here, ooh, 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 ah, ooh, ooh, 
those chord tones that I was talking about, they're everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. And she even ends on the D flat, right? Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Right? So to me, that run really says, you know, Beyonce was thinking in D flat major. And the run is just nasty in general. Now, in terms of where Lizzo is melodically referring to the cousin key, it's happening everywhere. And I'm gonna run through these very quickly. What I'm gonna do in order to do this is I'm gonna play some of the inferences over the original key and over the cousin key. And you'll kind of see how a lot of these ideas actually belong more to the cousin key than to the original. I'm gonna be all right. Or, I'm gonna be all right. And that one works because, again, we're working with the chord tones that are from the cousin key. Ba, 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 meow, meow, meow. And of course, it's about time. It's about time. It's about time. Or, it's about time. Cousin key. And then, I'm gonna need like two shots in my cup. I'm gonna need like two shots in my cup. I'm gonna need like two shots in my cup. Or, I'm gonna need like two shots in my cup. Again, we're hitting those chord tones. Again, it's here. And if that's not enough for you, Lizzo literally hits the chord tones. Wanna get up, wanna get down. Wanna get up, wanna get down. Wanna get up, wanna get down. Meow, meow, meow. Right? It's everywhere. And so this is why Lizzo's Is About Time and Beyonce's Take On The Savage remix with Megan Thee Stallion are kind of related. Now tell me in the comments if you're hearing the songs a little bit differently than you did before. And of course I want you to subscribe to this channel if you're new because this is the place where we reclaim your voice. Reclaiming my voice! I'm O'Neal Gerald Donald and I'll see you all in a different video. Bye everyone!